Hey, how are you? So I have these two lamps in my living room that I've been wanting to put smart LED bulbs in. Now they both take a total of three bulbs each. Now I just so happen to have some bulbs here sent to me by a company called Onforu. These are a pack of six smart LED bulbs. So y'all know what we about to do today. We about to set these things up together and it should help you set yours up. Let's see how these things work coming up. Okay, y'all, so I've replaced the dumb bulbs with the smart bulbs. So we're ready to start setting this up. Now, I'm gonna show you how to set it up with the native app. Now, the app is called Smart Life. I already have it on my phone because I already have a set of bulbs by a different company, actually, um, by a company called GoSund. I'll put a link up in the description box um, where I did a video on how to set those up as well. But they use the same exact app. Okay, so it's called Smart Life. So make sure you download that. So I'm gonna show you how to set them up there and how to control them there. But I'm also going to show you how to set them up using the Amazon Alexa app. <laughs> Don't wanna set off your devices, you guys. Now, before we get into the app, uh, one thing I wanna make a point of. Now, a lot of uh, internet service providers will provide uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and five gigahertz. The problem is they don't split it out a lot of times. And so what happens is a lot of these smart devices will not be able to connect because they're trying to connect to the five gigahertz. Most of them don't support that, are not compatible with that yet. So you'll need to split the two signals, 2.4 from five gigahertz, and your ISP should be able to tell you how to do this if it hasn't been done already. That way you can select 2.4 gigahertz. I know a lot of people have connection problems trying to set these things up. That's likely one of the main issues causing it. Okay, let's go ahead and get inside the app now. Again, it's called Smart Life. So let's get on in there. And actually I have bulbs by two different companies. So that makes a total of three. A lot of times products are manufactured in the same factory. And what you get is a bunch of different products just brand it differently. So, but that's besides the point. Anyway, what we're doing in here is we're gonna click on the um, blue plus sign in the upper right hand corner. All right, we're gonna click on lighting and then we want light source Wi-Fi. Okay, now again, you want 2.4 gigahertz, not five gigahertz. So make sure you put in the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and your password, click next. Okay, now what you wanna see is you wanna see the bulb blinking fast. There is a way for you to reset it to blink slowly. That's a different pairing mode. You want it to blink, blink fast, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You just turn it off and on three times, okay? So let's go over and do that quickly. So the way my lamp is set up, I can only turn these two on together. So we're gonna see if we can get them both paired up together at the same time. Let's just see what happens. One, two, three. Should blink quickly. That's what we want, blinking quickly. <laughs> okay, let's click confirm the light is blinking rapidly. And let's see if we connect this time. Okay, that's a good sign. That's what we wanna see. You're first gonna see the lights go solid and then you will see the timeline here down at the bottom um, progress forward. There we go. And there we go. Okay, now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna rename these bulbs. Um, for a couple of reasons. I mean, this is kind of cryptic and it's kind of long to say if you're going to be using Amazon Alexa. Okay. So 
I'm just gonna rename these. I, I named the first one bold A. Um, oops. I'm gonna name this one bulb B. And it's gonna be in the living room, both in the living room. And then I'm gonna rename this one bulb C. Okay, so they're all grouped in the living room. We hit done. We're good to go. Okay, y'all. So as you can see here, I have all six bulbs set up and ready to go. Now you can obviously control each bulb individually. And let me show you this. So this is bulb A, uh, bulb B, bulb C. Okay, I'm gonna turn those all back on. And then I'm gonna go into bulb A and change the color. There we go. Let's do purple, pink blue right and then you control control the brightness there of course it's not keeping up and this is uh the hue i believe all right or intensity okay a little bit of a lag there and here's some of the other things you can do these are like presets and it'll it'll change based on those presets, right? And you can always go back to white or the color you set. And then it will also um, change colors to music, okay? And you can schedule it and stuff like that. But here's what I really wanna show you guys. This is what I really wanna show you guys, okay? Before we get into the Amazon app, okay? Here's what I wanna show you. Now you see how you can group these. So these, this is where all devices are, but we group them into living room, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on this smart icon down at the bottom and we're gonna create a tap to run. So click on the blue plus sign and uh, the condition is launch tap to run. So we're gonna do that. So select run the device all right, we're going to click on living room to sort this out and we're just going to select all of these. OK, uh, switch. We want them to switch on. Actually, let's do off. Let's do off first. OK, this is a bit tedious. OK, it's a little bit tedious. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to re rename this all off. So you get the idea here. So with one click, we'll be able to turn all of the bulbs off. Okay, we're gonna add another one. Run the device, that was A, let's do B now. Switch off, okay? We've got a lot, we've got six of these this time. So uh, I'll come back after I've got all of these inputted, okay? And then I'll show you how this works. Okay, so that's good enough. I just wanna demonstrate this. So we're gonna click on save. And now when we click on this, it turns off all the lights together, okay? And you'd have to set up one for on, all on as well. All right, so you get the idea. And it's also on this first page here. So I'm gonna turn them all back on. Now, um, that, you don't have to deal with that in this app if you use the Amazon app. Okay, it makes it super, super simple. And I'm gonna show you that. The first thing you have to do is find the Smart Life skill in the Amazon Alexa app and link your Smart Life account. The Alexa app won't be able to recognize the bulbs if you don't do this first. Now I already had mine linked, but just search for Smart Life and you'll find the skill. Once you've done that, go to devices and click the plus sign in the upper right to add a device. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and select other. The app should then discover the bulbs. But it recognized all six of the bulbs. They are here now. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add those bulbs to the uh, living room group now. So let's go to living room. Okay, and I am going to click on edit. 
and we're gonna find each of those bulbs, bulb A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, click save. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that out. I'm gonna click on lights here to turn them all off. And as a group, they have all turned off. I'm gonna click that again. And as a group, they should all turn on, which they have. Let's try a voice command using Alexa. Turn off the living room. Alexa, turn on the living room. Alexa, turn the living room lights to blue. How freaking cool is that? Alexa, turn the living room lights to green. Alexa, change the living room lights to white. Alexa, change the living room lights to 50%. Alexa, change the living room lights to 100%. Okay, I think you get the idea there. Okay, just a couple of things before we get out of here. If you have trouble getting the Smart Life app to pair with the bulbs, and you made sure you selected the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, go to the App Store or Google Play if you're Android, and just make sure you have the most up-to-date app. That's what I needed to do and it fixed the issue for me. Also make sure the Amazon Alexa app is up to date. The other thing you may run into is not being able to link your Smart Life account to the Alexa app. If that happens, you may need to relink the account through the Smart Life app. So go to the Smart Life app, click on me, then more services, then select Alexa, then just follow the steps. Okay, I hope this video helped you. If so, let me know in the comments below and check the description box for other ways you can support the channel. And as always, be good to somebody. Be good to yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Later.